Hey everyone, today I have a collective beauty and fashion haul. You guys know I just love shopping, so yeah. I just got an order like in the mail, some American Eagle jeans that I'm really excited about, but I'm gonna show you the other things first and then we'll unpack that at the end. So the beauty things that I picked up. The first one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got mine in Soft Ivory, which is the light warm shade. This is what I'm wearing today, and I have been loving it, like obsessed with it. So I definitely understand the hype around it. Now, I also picked up a powder because the one that I have was just... It had so little left that it was nearly impossible to use. So I got the e.l.f. I don't even know what this is exactly called. It's the translucent sheer loose powder. And I like this if you're not going to be taking flash photos. In normal photos, this is like seriously like magic. Um, one of the first times I wore it, I went outside and just took like some selfies and my skin looked airbrushed. I don't know what it is in this, but it really, really, really does make your skin look amazing. But you will look like Casper the Ghost if you take a picture with the flash on. So you got to be careful about that. Now, to rectify that problem, I got this powder. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder, and it's just the translucent white. And I like this because I've been using it with a damp sponge, and it hasn't gotten, like, hard pan on it, which can happen, you know, when you're using a powder product with something that's damp, like a dampened brush or beauty blender or something like that. Uh, but this does not have silica in it. This does. Silica is what will make you look like a ghost and give you really bad flashback. So I, it took me a long time to find a silica-free, drugstore-priced, cruelty-free powder. Sorry about my stomach. I just ate lunch. So yeah, it, I would have liked something cheaper, but at the same time, I wanted something that I knew wasn't like there was no possibility that it was going to flash back so I looked up reviews and everything. Uh, the last like beauty type thing that I picked up is uh, the Ordinary Rosehip Oil. This I got from the Ordinary's website and I had to be on a like email list because it was out of stock and I think they carry some or the Ordinary products on Sephora but this has been sold out for a while. Uh, I've talked a lot about how I've incorporated an oil into my skincare routine and the one that I have, the Josie Marin Argan Oil, is like almost out so I, you know, wanted to get something to replace it. Um, it's cool because it's like a, like amber color which is really pretty and it smells interesting. To me it smells like, um, like tea, like unsweetened black tea which makes sense. It's like an herbal smell. But yeah, I basically got this over the argan oil because they do have an argan oil. I think this was maybe cheaper by like a dollar or two. And I heard that it's really good for pigmentation, wrinkles. Uh, yeah, mostly like dark spots. And I have a lot of like hyperpigment hyperpigmentation from acne marks. So uh yeah, I'm really excited about that. The Taylor has been raving about rose hip oil lately and her skin looks amazing. So I'm hoping that's uh, gonna work. Okay, so <clears throat> onto the clothing items. I made an order from Loft a little while ago. I've had this stuff for some time and I got this stuff for like a really good deal. Uh, but I got this really pretty necklace that I wanted to show you. I've gotten into jewelry a lot recently. As you can see, I have these really pretty earrings. They are from Target. I have a bunch of different earrings from Target, different sets that I got. Um, I got a set of these. These are the, like, the bobble bar line at Target, but they're, like, light pink. I also have a light gray pair. I did an earring haul 
for my ASMR channel. So that will be up at some point if you want to check it out and see the other things that I got. But I got this necklace that I think is just so pretty. It has little like crystals and it's just, I just think it's really pretty and like dainty. I love like gold chokers. Okay, so now onto the clothes. I got this pair of pants. They are their corduroy and I'm going to be doing like a try on portion, I think, but they are a light gray corduroy, you know, skinny pant. Now the sizing is really strange. Usually I, well in loft stuff, I'm an extra, extra small petite in all tops, dresses, stuff like that. This dress is actually from there. It's like, it was so cheap. It was like, I think 50 or 60% off of the sale. And so this dress was like $12 and it's just like a basic whatever dress. But um, yeah, so I ordered these pants in a, I think a zero petite. And because that's the size that I have other pants in. And when I got them, they were just too short. Like they fit really well, but they were super cropped. And so I was like, great. Now, in order to get the length that I want, I'm never gonna be able to find a waist size that fits. So these are a 24, which is a double zero, just the regular, which I'm like, I like. And the waist isn't even really small enough for me. Like I could, like I'll, I'll have to wear a belt with them, but the length is nice, so. Oh, drama, you know. The next top I got is this basic, long sleeved top but it has just a little teeny detail on the shoulder to make it a little bit more interesting and it's a nice like forest green i i'm really trying to get more colorful items because i wear a lot of like black and white and cream and gray so i've purposely been on the hunt for more colorful items and i'm really loving it Loving all the things that I got. So the next thing is this space dye. I think they call it the space dye barback tee or top because it's, you know, open in the back. Yeah, it's just really comfy. It's like a three quarter sleeves, long, super stretchy and comfy. You could wear it with leggings. I'll just wear it with pants for work. Then I got this top that I'm probably the least excited about. I probably should have returned it because I'm not like super, super, super in love with it. But oh well. It's like a nice, really orangey red tunic. It's long sleeves. Um, but the thing is, is that it's really long. Like it's really, um, like it's a long tunic. It's just an extra, extra small. It's not the petite, which makes sense. So I don't love the way it looks with pants. I feel like it's just a little too long, but I mean, for work, like who cares, you know? So whatever, I can deal with it. The next top I think is really, really cute and it is great for fall. So I wish I had gotten it earlier, but it'll be, it'll work for um, springtime as well. But it's this nice, uh, deep like mustard yellow with the shoulders cut out and it has embroidery on it and it's like burgundy coral and white so really pretty i love tops like this that are like a basic like cut or style but are either a nice color or have some sort of accent to them okay so, so the last thing that i got from loft is this top. This is going to be my St. Patrick's Day top. It is just like one of their blouses. Um, it's one of the, what do they call it? Mixed media where the back is more of like a cottony material and the front is that polyester blouse. Wow. This color is so not accurate. My sister is a photographer and she says that I think green and some other color are really bad to photograph. And it makes sense because this looks teal on camera right now at least in the viewfinder, but it just has nice, slightly bell sleeves, not really. They're just kind of big sleeves in general. But yeah, it's gonna be my St. Patrick's Day shirt. I'm excited about it. I don't think I have anything that color. I really don't think I have anything of any of these colors. Like this, I mean, I mean, like I said, I wear neutrals, so yeah, okay. The next few things, I have three tops from Target. 
remind me to never go in there again or at least never allow me to say to myself oh i'll just go browse through the clothes that's a trap it's it's bad i wasn't planning on buying clothes and then i found a million things that i liked so you know how it goes <clears throat> so i got this top it's just from the a new day brand it just feels really nice it was like 15 dollars which i think is reasonable um, and like I was saying, I like really basic things that have just a little accent. This has like a little cutout in the arm, but the style of it makes it perfect for work with just a nice pair of pants. And it's kind of like that, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's not like really marled, I don't think, but it's not just like a flat color. Okay. This is the same exact shirt but I'm living for this color. I've been eyeing a shirt from Loft that's this color and I'm so glad that I got this because I love the style of it and think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this light blue. This is Carolina blue. Um, yeah, $14.99. I love this so much. This is so, oh, I just love it. I love it, so perfect for spring. And the last thing is also very springy and very not like me. It's this bright yellow shirt. <laughs> I never would have thought that I would wear yellow, being that I'm fair and have blonde hair. It's just like, it's so much of like the same kind of tone. There's not a lot of contrast. But I don't know what it is about this that just drew me in. It has that knot at the bottom, which honestly I'm not the hugest fan of. And I put it back initially after trying it on because that little knotted portion was like making me a bit hesitant. But as soon as I put it back, I was like, okay, I'll just find something else that's yellow and cute that I like. And I was like, you know what? If I'm trying to find a replacement for it that bad, just get the damn shirt, you know? Like, it's, it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. I still like it. It fits me really well. It's an interesting kind of thicker material but I just love it. And if I really hated this portion, you can unknot it and I could just tuck it into jeans and you wouldn't even notice it. So I am like digging it. All right, now for the jeans. I had been wanting uh, a few pairs of jeans and they were out of my size. So I happened to be on the website again. I kept on checking back to see if they um, like would bring my size back in stock. This is a Barry LaCroix. Um, this is amazing. And I am not someone who likes like sparkling water like that. But anyway, they happened to have my size back in stock and they were having some sort of sale. I don't know. The jeans were like, it was a, it was such a random sale it was like between 20 and 60 percent off like what but they always have sales so never buy the jeans full price but i got two pairs that were 37 46 and then a pair that were basically 30 dollars so i spent it was 112 but i had a gift card so i paid like 85 um which, like, I mean, you know, I'm not thrilled about spending $85 at once on jeans. But the jeans that I have now, I've had for um, nearly, like, as long as I can remember. Uh, probably, like, close to eight years. So even if you spent $100 on a pair of jeans, which isn't even, like, outrageous. Like, there are hundreds of dollars worth, like, jeans that are hundreds of dollars. So to spend, you know, $40 on a pair of jeans, it's going to last me, even if you say five years and you're going to wear hundreds of times, like, I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's see. I think these are the ones that were $30. No. Okay, these, I believe, were. I, uh... I wanted some lighter wash jeans because the ones that I have and wear to death are a dark wash. 
and I love them, but I just wanted something different and I basically wanted to be like one of my younger sisters because she is like the most fabulous person on the planet and I picked jeans that I think she would wear because um, then I'd all look fabulous. <laughs> so anyway, these are the super stretch, super high rise jegging in starry bright and yeah these are the $30 ones and all of these are in a zero short I believe yes so hopefully they fit and hopefully even though they're super high rise the waist fits so this wow these feel so little <laughs> um this is what these look like I love the wash of these but yeah these are just like a basic skinny you know they're not distressed or anything but high rise basic um the next ones are the super high rise jegging in ocean blue these feel really soft and really stretchy so hopefully they feel like you know enough like pants and not leggings but these are lighter i know they probably look exactly the same so i'll hold them up that's what they look like in comparison. So these are definitely more of a lighter, tr like blue, blue. And this is more of like a jean color. And then these are the ones that I'm most excited about, but also the most nervous about, like fit wise. They're the mom jean and it says cool classic. So they're like a lighter wash. I am like so excited about these. They're just a nice light wash mom jeans, so they're gonna be high rise. And they have a little bit of distressing in the knees and a little bit just like all over the legs. Just minorly. Um, that's what the backs look like. And they just have a few marks on them. I really wanted some dark wash distressed, distressed jeans. But the only ones that I liked that had like distress marks that I actually liked the placement of were their dream jeans, which on sale were $75. And I was like, yeah, I don't want them that bad. Um, a lot of the jeans had, you know, were distressed, but then had like a big slash like here like in the back of your thigh and it was like a, a complete hole it wasn't just something like like this that's like you know still pretty intact so i was like um what no 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 i don't want the back of my thigh popping out of my jeans that's just no i'm gonna go get my other jeans and then i'll show you all of them kind of compared these are a pair that my mom actually thrifted they're like a super light wash boot cut jean. These are like, this is a look, okay? <laughs> and I can't wait to try on all my stuff with these new jeans. I want to pair these jeans with that yellow top like so bad. But I wanted to show you all the American Eagle jeans that I have and kind of lay them out and show you the colors. So I'm actually going to get a clip of that and insert it here. So you can see the variation. Luckily, all of them are are different enough in tone where I feel justified in having all of them. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. It's a few days later and I actually did some more shopping yesterday. My boyfriend and I went to the mall and he wanted to spoil me. So I got some things from Loft that were on sale. So I wanted to show those now and include them in this video. I know the lighting is horrible. It's so overcast outside. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I wanted to show you these things. Um, the first thing I got is a sweater that I've had like on my radar for a long time. It's from their winter line and it was on clearance, like final sale. It was like $13. Um, but it's really pretty. It's like this taupey kind of color. It has a ruffle along the top and it's like an open, open shoulder, but the ruffle continues, which I think is really nice. It's just really, 
really cute, perfect for like the fall, fall time. And then the rest of the stuff is more springy. I mean, I guess this is kind of wintry. Kind of, it's really colorful, so it goes for really any season, I think. But it's like a mock neck, love. Again, this was on, on sale. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice, nice sweater. Has a lot of different colors in it. I think this would look great with really any pants. Yeah, I mean anything. Jeans, black pants, my tan pants, white pants. Maybe gray. I mean, why not? You know, I just, I love, I love the vibe. Then I got this sweater, which is really cute and different. It's definitely more spring, springy, but it's cream with that light pink and like a muted blue stripe. There's some darker blue and lighter blue and the sleeves are kind of like three quarter, really bell, belled out. Oh my gosh, this is the softest sweater. I just love it. So cute. So perfect for spring. I love, I'm obsessed with sweaters as you can tell. And the last few things are again, things that I'm like literally obsessed with. I got this sleeveless blouse that is like the cutest thing ever and is basically the, like the epitome of all my current color obsessions. I don't know why I'm obsessed, like actually obsessed with their floral prints, but I just am. I love this blouse. It has that muted blue, the pink, and the yellow. It is cute, like gold. Not really buttons, but well, I guess buttons. And then the actual shirt itself is textured. I think you can tell. It's just so cute. I love it and it fits so well. I was so happy that they had my size and all this stuff. And then I've been wanting cardigans and I mean, I just had to get both of them. They just fit so well. Ugh! I'm so mad at myself that I like, you know, couldn't say no to some of this stuff, but at the same time I'm like living for it so hard that I think it's justified. <laughs> But yeah, so the first one is just gray. You'll see it in the try-on portion. It has a slight bell sleeve. It has a it has a little bit more detail to it with the stitching. I think you can tell. Um, but yeah, just an open, basic cardigan, but it's really comfortable and fits me perfectly. And then I got the same one in the cream. I mean, I wear cream with everything like this looks so cute with this top honestly the gray the gray cardigan looks good too you'll see it modeled with both but yeah I mean all I gotta say is it's a good thing they didn't have a black one because then I would have been like well now I need all of them they had like a pink a light pink version well it was kind of similar but it was in the like regular not the petite section all of this stuff is an extra extra small petite which is my perfect size at loft but they had a light pink like a peachy pink cardigan and they didn't have my size thank goodness or i would have snatched that so quick but uh but yeah so that was officially all of the stuff I'm not gonna be doing any more shopping now because I am so satisfied with this. Like I'm going to be living in these sweaters, like these cardigans. By the way, a little update. Another obsession, those ripped mom jeans that I showed. They're like my favorite jeans I've ever worn. They're the comfiest pants. Like I didn't realize how comfy a looser fit jean would be because all I wear is like jegging like really tight skinny jeans I mean just put on a looser pair of jeans and your legs will be thanking you like it just feels so good and like this the cuts in the knees like there's like s ventilation I mean you get a breeze oh they're amazing I love them so much so I would totally recommend them. They lived up to my expectations. Thank goodness. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling because this video has been long enough. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.